Hi friends, Gina from Scooby Club, and this is a tutorial on the zipper weave bracelet. The zipper weave bracelet is super quick and easy and makes a great friendship bracelet. It's called the zipper weave because the pattern greatly resembles a zipper. To do this project, you'll need 24 inches of Scooby for the base color. And if you're unsure of the size, you can wrap it around the wrist and you should have about four inches left over. In your second color, you'll need about 48 inches of Scooby. So you should fold the first one in half to make a loop and then line up just one end of your long strand with the loop. Now you'll want to make an overhand knot. I like to call this a pretzel knot because it kind of starts looking like a pretzel here. And you wanna leave the loop about a half inch long at the top. And this is what's going to go over the bead to close your bracelet. So once you've made your pretzel, you're going to tighten it up if your loop is just too big, you want to kind of give everything a pull and adjust your knot so the loop is about a half or three quarters of an inch in size. I would also give the long strand a quick pull to make sure it's secure. You don't have to tape it down. I'm going to do that because I think it helps to keep the project from moving around. Either way, you want to arrange your strands so the two small strands are on the right and the long strand is on the left. For this project, you're only going to move the long strand. So we'll start with it on the left and just fold it over the first one and feed it under the second one, just like that. And you can organize it so it's more towards the top. Now we'll do the same thing going the other direction. So fold over the first one and under the second one. If you want to leave it zigzag, you can. I want it to look like a zipper, so I'm going to um, scrunch it up so that the long strand is horizontal. And then we continue to repeat this pattern of folding over the first, under the second, and flattening it, moving it up so that the long strands are horizontal. Now back the other way, over the first, under the second. Continue in that way. Back the other way, over the first, under the second. And you can see the pattern starting to form and look just like a zipper. Continue the over under pattern until your bracelet is the desired length. For kids, this will be about five and a half to six and a half inches. For adults, about six and a half to seven and a half inches long. And I would make that from the loop to the bead. Next, you'll trim the ends so they're about the same length and slide them into a pony bead or a bead that is approximately the size of a pony bead. Slide it down towards the last stitch, and don't be alarmed if it starts getting wonky. It will um, all kind of come together as it gets closer to the project. Okay, so that looks about right. From here, you're going to want to do another overhand knot to secure the bead. Again, make a loop, cross it over, and go through, and then tighten. This, If you are a younger crafter, you may need to ask your parents for some help 
um, or an adult with the overhand knot. From here, you can trim the ends to any desired length. If you're worried, you can put a dot of glue on your knot, but I have not had an issue with them coming undone. This is what the finished project looks like. You can fasten it by feeding the end with the bead into the loop. If you have charms, you can add them anywhere that they will fit in the material, whether that's to the loop or along um, any of the stitches. I'm not being very successful here, so I'm going to put them, put my charm on the loop. And that is what your finished product looks like. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit scoobyclub.com where you can download our free project sheets, watch tutorials, and shop. Thank you all for watching.